Super Red Crap.
National Anthems. Meine Damen und Herren, die Nationalhymnen werden jetzt gespielt. The 208 Signal Company was originally activated as the 208 Signal Depot Company on 27 March 1942 at Camp Crowder, Missouri. The company was subsequently deployed to England and then France to support the European theater of operations during World War II, where it was awarded the Meritorious Unit Commendation for its exceptional service in combat. At the conclusion of the war, the company was relocated to Camp Kilmer, New Jersey, where it was inactivated on 28 November 1945. Since, the company has undergone four separate inactivations, being last inactivated on 1 September 1965 in Fort Meade, Maryland. Attention to orders. The Department of the Army Headquarters, United States Army, Europe and Seventh Army. Effective 27 October 1992, Alpha Company 11th Air Defense Signal Battalion is redesignated as the 208 Signal Company. By order of the Commander-in-Chief, signed Dwayne J. Fiergutz, Chief Editorial Branch. The 286 Signal Company was originally activated as the 286 Signal Company Amphibian on 15 July 1942 at Camp Edwards, Massachusetts. The company was subsequently deployed to Central Europe during World War II, where it received participation credit for Algeria, French Morocco, Sicily, Naples, Rome, Arno, Normandy, and Northern France. The company was redesignated 10 May 1943 as the 286 Signal Company. During World War II, 
he received the French Croix de Guerre with Pong for his exceptional service in combat. The 286 Signal Company was then reorganized and redesignated on 5 April 1944 as the 286 Joint Assault Service Company. The unit was last inactivated at Fort Emory, California on 14 May 1948. Attention to orders. Department of the Army, Headquarters, United States Army, Europe and 7th Army. Effective 27 October 1992, Charlie Company, 11th Air Defense Signal Battalion, is redesignated as the 286 Signal Company. By order of the Commander-in-Chief, signed Dwayne J. Fiergut's Chief Editorial Branch. Here the unit was awarded the Meritorious Unit Commendation for its exceptional service in combat. At the conclusion of the war, the company was relocated to Camp Miles Standish, Massachusetts, where it was inactivated on 25 December 1945. The company was last inactivated in Fort Meade, Maryland on 20 December 1969. Attention to orders. Department of the Army, Headquarters, United States Army, Europe, and 7th Army. Effective 27 October 1992, Delta Company, 11th Air Defense Signal Battalion, is redesignated as the 413th Signal Company. By order of the Commander in Chief, signed Dwayne J. Fiergut's Chief Editorial Branch. United States Army, Europe, and 7th Army. The following unit is announced for redeployment and subsequent inactivation, effective 27 October 1992. The 11th Air Defense Signal Battalion. By order of the Commander. friends, old friends, our special uh, German family, and last but not least to the soldiers of the uh, 11th Air Defense Signal Battalion. I thought this was going to be an easy day today. First of all, the, uh, the wind's not blowing, it's not raining, and so far both camps on the side of the region. Because of your success, you soldiers standing in the ranks today, for 34 years, but cold in terms of Kaufstein, Gutelberg, 
Zabostein, the Tropo Scattered Platoon, supported the Marines in a manner that uh, reflected great height from Darmstadt to Insulik, from Darmstadt to, to King Khalid Military City, Saudi Arabia, and yet today from Darmstadt to Kuwait City, and from Darmstadt to Bahrain, could never have been done without the soldiers standing in front of you. Well, in the meanwhile, they had one of the most successful mobile subscriber equipment fieldings in the United States Army history. Today, the headquarters company, commanded by Captain Carlo, is the only company that will undergo a traditional... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of 11th Air Defense Signal Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Stewart M. Morrison. Today is a day to celebrate and to recognize the accomplishments of this great battalion. It is a day for showing the colors and a chance to revisit the current and past accomplishments. It is a chance to reflect and to recognize those who stand before me and those who served before. Memories are important. They must be treasured and preserved, for they give meaning to life. Yet it is also a farewell, a fond farewell. Today is not a sad day, but one to recognize that we have accomplished our mission. The mission would not be changing if not for the sacrifice and the dedication of the soldiers in this field and those who have gone before. The Cold War is over, and we have won. And with victory comes change, and that is why we are here today. But before we can recognize what is to be changed, we must look at the history of this, the one and only Air Defense Signal Battalion in the Army. Its history over the past 25 years is a testimony to what was required to accomplish the unique mission of air defense in Europe. The communications provided to the 32nd ADCOM was essential and required the continuous deployment of signal soldiers at remote sites 24 hours a day, every day. The mission was critical, and the four horsemen had to be ready in order to defend against the threat. 108th ADA Brigade, 10th ADA Brigade, the 69th ADA Brigade, and the 94th ADA Brigade were the leading edge of this defense. The 11th Signal Battalion tied them together and ensured they could execute their time-sensitive and critical missions. Remote sites provided the backbone and stretched from Tostein in the north to Gagamwang in the east, to Beetleburg in the south, and to Erbuskop in the west. This made command and control communications difficult at best. The company headquarters were located in three separate military communities, and elements were deployed in five military communities, encompassing over 56,000 square kilometers of central Germany. This was the mission, and the soldiers were always sure and ready. The mission changed in recent times with the end to the Cold War. The largest single battalion in the Army was now to become the largest MSE single battalion in the Army. The soldiers came off the remote sites and turned in their old equipment. No longer would Track 145s, Track 113s be the systems of choice. Now the battalion would, would, would receive 12 nodes of MSE equipment. The RAU, the SAN, and the LOS would become the new buzzwords. What didn't change was the battalion's high level of dedication professionalism, and technical expertise. The field of the MSC was executed to perfection, setting many, many standards for future fieldings. Unique air defense interfaces were tested and validated, and the MSC planning ranges were pushed to their limits. The St. User when briefed on the Commander's Acceptance Plan exercise, or CAPEX, was impressed by the plan and wanted to see if it could be executed. It was. The soldiers you see before you excelled well beyond what was expected. But just as important was the validation of MSE as a future system of choice for air defense. Today we have restructured our assets to continue to support the unique requirements of air defense. 57th Signal Company continues to support the 69th ADA Brigade as part of the 22nd Brigade and 5th Corps. The 208 Signal Company will be redeployed to Fort Polk to support the 108th Brigade and its mission to support 18th Airborne Corps. The 286 Signal Company will redeploy to Fort Bliss to support the 11th 88 Brigade. And lastly, the 413th Signal Company will continue to support the 32nd ADCOM as part of the 94th 88 Brigade. At this time, I'd like to say thank you and a vizain to those who have supported HHC and the headquarters of 11th Signal Battalion. Brigadier General Costello, 
To you, sir, I'd like to say thank you for allowing me to command what I feel to be the best main of command in Usra. The tone you set for command allowed me to succeed, and I could not have asked for a more supportive command climate. To those in the Darmstadt military community, especially the 233rd BSB, I'd like to thank you for caring. My soldiers and their families have benefited greatly from being a part of a community of excellence. To our German neighbors and friends, I'd like to say thank you for allowing us to enjoy your great city. I'm always writing to my friends and fellow commanders about the great climate, location, and friendly people. We will never forget your kindness. To the officers and the non-commissioned officers, I can never thank you enough. Your dedication, professionalism, and most importantly, your loyalty have made this the best of assignments. The 11th Signal Team could never have done so well without your leadership. To the soldiers and family members, I'd like to say that it's been a pleasure for me and Kathy to be a part of the 11th Signal Battalion family. We have experienced so much in such a short period of time. All that has been successful was because of you. To CW2 Willis, the 493rd Army Band, made this ceremony special. Thank you. Lastly, to my wife Kathy, I could not have made it through this fast-paced environment without you. We are a team. For this, I cannot say enough. The return of the colors is a reality, but the memories that was the 11th Signal Battalion will be continued. The redesignated units before you will be the keepers of the memories, and I know they will continue to be sure and ready. Tiger ready. Accompanied by his staff, which consists of Chief Warrant Officer 2, Mark Myers, the Battalion Adjutant, First Lieutenant Rodney Jones, the Intelligence Officer, Major Thomas Mitchell, the Operations Officer, and Captain Paul Hamber, the Logistics Officer. Approaching the review stand, we have the 493rd Army Band, under the command of Chief Warrant Officer 2, Wills. Drum Major is Lisa Carpenter. Under the command of Captain Annette Null, First Sergeant is Herbert Blewett. A 
approaching the review stand now, we have the 286 Signal Company under the command of Captain Dave Abbott. First Sergeant is Timothy Rowland. And closing the review is, fourth, is the 413 Signal Company under the command of Captain Ronald Dobson. First Sergeant is Charles Jones. Join us for a reception immediately following the ceremony at the Dime Starter Club.